Devil's Henchmen are now the new Ring of Honor Tag Team Champions. Why? I watched Dad Mine last night. Not a bad. This is some stuff I, really, I didn't watch. Some matches that I wasn't interested in. Interested in the main event, which was, I'll put it right here. Samoa Joe and MJF versus two of the, the, the Devil's Goons of Foot Clan. That's some what, what funny comments said. Foot Clan. And for the ROH tag belts. To summarize what the hell happened, uh, that was that was Goons by the entrance from the crowd. The one over Shield Scout, John Moxley. Then Enter makes his entrance, he's there swing on the ramp, just like this, just waving at the little Samoa Joe. Then it shows Samoa Joe, he's like screaming, his his leg basically made it look like more of the devil's goons from before jumped Samoa Joe and that hurt his leg. And MGF, being the guy he is, decided to take him on one on one on two. And he was doing pretty good, he got some kicks in. Uh, he got them outside the ring, fighting them, and then a third man appears. He has like a pipe, something to make the like a pipe, and hits him in the head. Then one of the dudes gets him in the ring, hits a heat seeker, a heat seeker, pins him while one of the other guys just holds him from the top, holds his feet up because he's doing the dirty pin, so he has his feet on the one of the ropes, and he loses, and he loses the belts. After that, a small joke comes out of a chair. Then the devil plays a video and it says, pleasure doing business with you. And then as MJF is there, he's been injured. He has like, he has a whole shoulder brace on because he tore his labrum, if I'm correct. And then Tomoa Joe goes little Seth Rollins shield style and uh, hits, him in the back with, hits him in the back with a chair. Why? I know I just said why before, but I'm gonna be honest with you guys. After Adam Cole got injured, I think it's fake and he's the devil. But after that, he sh they should have just vacated those belts. There's so many tag teams in Ring of Honor right now that could have benefited. Also, you know, so this really kind of shows what they think of Ring of Honor. If you don't have their tag belts and you you know you don't have their world champion, the, their world champion was Eddie Kingston in the kind of classic defending the belts on Ring of Honor. Yes, they have the women's title. They now just have a women's mid-card title. They have the TV title. And they have the six-man tag chance, which... Who, who, why is that? A, just call it a trio's title. So, and those will be like... What an announcer can be like, this is for the, the Ring of Honor six-man tag team championship. Like... Bro. Make it simple. That's it. But go, but go, go off topic from Ring of Honor. I'm going to... Be honest, I feel like some other people will agree with me on this thing. I feel like this this whole storyline has been getting stretched out a lot. And look, I get they want to save frame like a big stage to reveal who the devil was, but you could at least reveal or give us a hint of who the henchmen are. Wait, this is what I think. I think the the guys who won the ROH tag belts and the third guy with a pipe. There was a fourth guy who came, but at the top of the three guys from before. It gotta be like Roderick Strong in the kingdom. Because I think in a previous like a few months ago on collision, the kingdom said they want the ROH tag belts. This was when I think this was before Adam Cole got injured, but still they wanted the belts. And every week they're just every week they're just coming out and saying, Max the devil, Max the devil, Max the devil. But you know, I think it kinda of makes sense that they, that they're the henchmen and that Adam Cole is the mastermind and becomes the devil. Which would make sense. I saw a post on Instagram. Oh, I'll show sure the post right here. Some of PWE official, pro wrestling, everything. I go check them out. It's really, it's really cool content. And um, he said because like it was it was Adam Cole who you know convinced MJF to give Samoa Joe a rematch at World's End for the AEW World Championship. It was Adam Cole who convinced MJF to have Samoa Joe as his tag partner. Well, not convinced. He was pushing for it. He was pushing the idea. I'm just didn't agree to it to like the day before full gear. And also, I remember this whole, this whole segment. It was the it was the promo after uh, full gear. Max is caught talking to the camera in the background. You see Adam. You see him. And pay attention to my hand here. Does does this? Like he goes like goes by like turns and does clicks something, and then boom, the devil appears. Q devil, doing this whole message and all that. Not even message, just like looking and then that's it 
So all roads, all roads, all roads point to Adam Cole as the devil. And also, it says he's convinced he him to work with Samoa Joe. I think that would make sense that Samoa Joe did, did betray MGF and was revealed to be working with the devil. You know, Adam Cole and Samoa Joe, which would actually make sense. We have full gear on Saturday. This will be posted on uh, maybe Friday or today. I, I, I'm I'm not gonna be able to watch full gear because I'm gonna be a, I'm gonna be going to my family's house. I'm gonna be doing something, and um, I won't be able to watch it. I'll be on Instagram just like constantly refreshing to check um, who's the devil, the what's happening. I'm gonna I mainly care about the main event, which is again MJF and Samoa Joe. But going back to them winning the Ring of Honor tag belts, what what is the point? Because like one, they're not going to defend them; they're going to hold them hostage. Like I don't know, the devil's just going to appear next in the back one. Just going to have the two two guys who who win the belts just behind holding them. And they went they did they did what as far as to make a poster. I'll show I'll pop it up right here. It's a really good poster. Whoever did a nice job, but bro, this is this is a different promotion. This tag belts. Yes, they own it, but there's so many tag teams on there who aren't going to get a shot at them now because they're being held hostage. You, you think they're going to people are going to challenge him now when there's like 20, 20 of these goons? Like, I find it stupid. And they also went, um, they had the poster. This is the original thing. It was MJF and Samoa Joe. It showed MJF for two of his belts. They went so far as to really just change it and and repost the poster which is MJF with the singles belt. So this, this was their plan all along. I, really, I want to watch AEW for the storyline and every week I'm thinking we're going to reveal, we're going we're gonna to get some hints, we're going to get some hints, you know, this is going to be the Devils. Like, when I heard it was going to be like MJF Smoke Joe versus the Devils Masked Men before like two weeks ago, I was excited. Then it shows MJF knocked out with a bot hit in the glass bottle. I'm like, man. Like, bro, it's, it's, it's got to be the kingdom, all right? And I'm going to, hopefully, this has a good ending to this feud because this has been happening for two months now. This all started um, the same day that Jay White and the MGF feud started, which, if it was the same day they revealed Adam Cole got injured, had to leave because he had surgery, well, he then he will heal and run strong. This whole feud, I feel like they're really over-pushed, over-stretching it, like, when they do who done it feels, I feel like they, we should get hints as the story one goes on. We haven't gotten anything, all right. All we've gotten is segments of the of like MJF talking to a guy, then he gets jumped from the back, like Hangman. He got jumped. Um, Hangman got jumped. Uh, who else got jumped? Jay White got jumped. Basically, just every time is what MJF. Then someone gets jumped. The Acclaim got jumped. I feel like we should got like some reveal, like one unmasking. Not even like unmasking, just like a broken, like rips, to, like rips a part of the, the mask, of these black masks. And we see maybe like an eye or something of the guy. Give us a hint. We don't got that. All we got is them jumping people, him weaving messages on the Titan Tron, and that's it. Tony Khan is really playing with fire here. Because here they have a really good storyline. Or we're gonna screw this whole thing up. I did see one comment, this is the last part of this video. It's like, since MJF's contract is expiring in 2024, like January, maybe they're trying to like, in case he decide to leave, get rid of some of the titles. So they, um, that, that could be why he got rid of the ROH titles, but then why they would lose to the Devils? I'm gonna be honest, I feel like they, sh they should have lost it to the guns. I'm being honest. Maybe something happens on the day. Maybe Jay White appears and then cost them that, cost them the title match. Then Guns win the ROH titles. That would have been better. That honestly would have been better. What we got now? Now we got this. They're uh, they want them. They're probably never, never going to defend them because probably not going to defend them as long as it's not as long as it's revealed to not be the Devil's henchmen. As long as they're masked, I'm going for. Uh, the Kingdom. I also think the third guy. The third guy got to be Roderick Strong. All right, it got to be. And he's been on Max. He's been on Max for like months. Oh, maybe because he's also a jealous guy because he's because Adam Cole became friends with him. But uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. It, it was a bit long. I apologize, but I just wanted to kind of get some of my thoughts out there.
This might be a rambling video, but I just want to get my thoughts on this. Who do you guys think is the devil? Uh, be able to comment down below who you guys think is the devil. Uh, maybe I'll post some of your theories in my next video, which might actually might be my thoughts on the main event. I, I'm not gonna be able to watch it, so I can't give a whole review. But I'm gonna leave my thoughts on what I thought of the ending because I'm gonna see some stuff about the ending. Uh, hope y'all enjoyed. Um, got some, check out some more content out soon. We do have uh, WWE's Day One New Year's Eve One New Year's Resolution coming up next week, so I'm excited for that. Maybe we'll do a whole video review and all that. So hope y'all enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.